Hey guys, welcome back to WP Event Manager. And in this series, we are talking about our registration add-on for WP Event Manager. And today we're gonna to talk about our registration dashboard where we can see registration list or the attendee data. So registration dashboard is available on the backend and at the front end as well. So suppose your organizers who doesn't have access to the backend, so they can still modify, edit or delete registration or attendees for the event. So first we we'll start with our backend side. So to access the backend registration dashboard, we need to go to event registration, then all event registrations. Here we have our attendee list. So this is our submission for the demo event we have in here for our demo purpose. In our previous video, we registered for this event and we also showed you how to edit, create or delete a custom field for our registration form. So the basic difference between the front end and back end registration dashboard is we can see all the event registration data or the all the attendee list from all events we have in the website in here on our back end registration dashboard. So from here we can sort or filter registration by event and we can even sort or filter the registrations by date as well. And we have our standard action buttons over here. We can select all and perform a date or move to trash as WordPress standard feature. And then from here we can check them in. We can view the registration and even delete. Suppose you have a lot of event registration or attendees in your dashboard. You want to search among them. We can use this search uh, field over here and we can even export our registration data from here. So it will export in a CSV. We have a video how to export the registration data from the front end or in the back end using our registration add on. So feel free to check that out. So this was our back end registration dashboard. So let me recap what we have here. We have our registration list, which we can filter by events or the date. We can search the registration list. We can export the registration list and we can even edit the individual registrations. And in the top, if you notice, we have the numerical statistics. And from here, we can even add a new registration. We will have a dedicated video how we can add a new registration from the back end. So being that's out of the list, let us go to the front end. So I can show you how the front-end registration dashboard looks. Let's go to event dashboard. And in the event dashboard, since we have installed the registration add-on, right below the registration, we will see a number which represents how many registrations we have or how many users has been registered for this event. We have our example event here and we have our standard actions button for the event. And then we have our registration count. So let's click on this. So in here we have our numerical statistics for this particular event. We can even download the event registration data from here. And down here we can see the registration list. So in from here we can even filter this list by these two filters. One is status and one is shorting. And from here we can even search for the registration list as well as we were able to do on the back end but the basic difference between the back end and front end is the back end shows all the event registration or attendee list at once of course you can filter them and in the front end we can only see the event registration list or the attendee list by events so the limitation in the front end is we cannot see all the event registration list or the attendee list at once so I hope you enjoyed watching this short guide or the walkthrough of our registration dashboard. And if you think we missed something about our registration dashboard in the front end or in the back end, let us know in the comment. We will work on that. So being that said, that's pretty much it for this video. Thank you for coming along. I'll catch you in the next one.